the global economy is moving away from dollar dominance. This was recognized by the chief economist of the International Monetary Fund Pierre-Olivier Guirincha, we are on our way to a multipolar world. And that simply reflects the rise of emerging markets in the global economy. So we know that, ultimately, we will find ourselves in a world characterized not only by US dollars, not only by the dominance of the dollar, the specialists said at a press conference during the spring session of the governing bodies of the IMF and the World Bank. From his point of view, the question now is how exactly the transition to a new multipolar system of international relations will be, one of the scenarios that we have is that we will have separate blocks of countries that do not trade with each other on a significant scale, which use different standards. And that would be a disaster for the global economy, the expert said. The other scenario, he says, involves a managed transition to a new system that defends the gains of globalization that have lifted hundreds of millions out of poverty and enabled emerging market economies to soar in recent years and decades. So the challenge here will be to get on that path of managed transition that leads us to this more multipolar world, Gurincha said. The head of the IMF believes that the world will not be able to respond to the threat of climate change. Earlier, the head of the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, spoke on the same topic. Double crisis in the form of a pandemic and war, our ability to resolve the situation is further complicated by another growing risk, the fragmentation of the world economy into geopolitical blocks. Different trade will be carried out in them, different technological standards will be established, different payment systems and reserve currencies will operate, Georgieva said. This is one of the most serious problems for the global economic system. The head of the International Monetary Fund said, this situation is already making it difficult for us to work together on the two crises we are facing. And this can lead to the fact that we will be completely unable to respond to other world problems, such as the threat of climate change, Georgieva added. Subscribe to channel to be notified on latest updates.